Tuesday. Oh, it's two, 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 like Tuesday. Like it's February 22nd, 2022. I'm starting this vlog just really randomly just because I think I really like vlogging and also um I was watching a lot of vlog vlogs just now of other people and I'm like wow like you really don't see normal day things like they only record when they're not like when they're doing something and I feel like okay you can record when you're not doing something so it's uh it's like one o'clock in the morning almost and today i got my nose pierced for the fourth time in my life yeah i know you're like fourth what yes girl fourth and um yeah we're sore right now a little bit i just keep thinking like, i need to be successful like i have to be wealthy like i want to take care of my family and it's a little bit um overwhelming like it's taking over my brain and it's been taking over my brain for um a while now like for the past two weeks I, that's literally all I've been thinking about so yeah I'm just kind of trying to do a game plan and also um for those that don't know I am moving to Atlanta in August and um me and TJ are getting an apartment together and around that time so in my lease is up here in July his lease is up at his apartment in the like the beginning like the first or second of September so we're gonna meet in the middle and we're gonna try to move in our place like mid August late August um at the latest and we've been looking at a lot of different places and it's just a lot um, just thinking about being far away from my mom and ugh, I hate this I'm gonna be I don't want to cry because that makes me I don't that makes me kind of sad like being away from my mom um she's literally like my best friend like I'm I love her so much and I don't want to be far away from her and I I go home all the time like everybody be like you can always go home I like being at home I like my mom um, I like my family. I love my family. I want to be around them all the time. So it's a little, it's a little bit overwhelming just thinking about all the things that I have to get ready for in the next couple of months and a lot of final decisions I'm going to have to make. I want to love school so bad because growing up, I'm going to see if I can find the clip. I think I have it on my phone, but I was eight years old and I was like, I love school. And I used to love school. Like even up until I was in high school, like I loved going to school yes and i love going to the pool in summer oh right me too. Me too. Me too. I love school. I hate I like school is my escape i love to learn i loved it and then when i got to high school i still loved going to school but it was more um i kind of got out of loving to learn and i think that that was a huge part of my life like that's a huge part of me so like when I learn something in school that or get a professor or a teacher that is actually interesting and I just love to go to their classes to learn things like that's something really really huge for me and it stays with me for a long time and I want to learn to love to learn again if that makes sense like I want to love to learn again and that's so hard right now it's so hard now, like, especially being in a place where you don't feel like, like, I'm in Greensboro, I'm not that happy, if I'm being honest. Like, I'm, I have one friend here, if I'm being honest, and she's great, like, I love her, but when I'm not with her, it's like, I'm in my room, I'm in my head, uh, it's hard to focus, it's hard to do things, and... I feel like that's something that people don't talk about. And I just wanted to record that and get my raw emotions about this that's going in my head right now at 1 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, um, I'll see where this week takes me. So, yeah, um, I'll keep you guys posted on how this week goes. We'll just see. And, yeah. 
thanks for listening if you came this far but yeah Hey y'all, it's Friday, February 25th. I know today is day. So, um, last time I said it, I think I was uh, about to take a shower and well, I took a shower and I got dressed. So, it was very non eventful. So, that's why I didn't film anything, anything else for real. Um, but it is currently 6 07. And um, I just got off work and um, yeah, getting food. I'm in the drive through line right now. And I'm gonna redo the front of my hair. I think um, sometime this week or next week because it's to the point where it's like pulling. Like, you see that? Yeah, no, that's that can't. No, so we're just gonna redo that. <laughs> we're supposed to be going to this um, trampoline park night somewhere tonight we're gonna see how that work out i haven't been to like a party or like event for my school and i don't know how long so yeah but it's the first day of march yay god granted us another day let's use it okay i know i look a little crazy because i was planning on redoing this part of my hair because it's looking kind of Phew. I still might. It's still early in the day. But I was over here watching YouTube and um I think this vlog is gonna really be more so next week. I'm gonna start it like starting now, but mainly gonna be about what's going on next week. So next week I'm going to Atlanta and me and CJ are going apartment looking. Yes. We went apartment looking around October of last year. So around our anniversary, we went, we went to a couple of places just trying to get like an idea because his lease is not up until September, like beginning, beginning of September. My lease is up at the end of July. So we kind of have like a month gap in between there. So yeah. And it's also crunch time, like March, We got five months and um he was telling me that sometimes they'll go back and look at your bank statements about five to six months so it's time to get this money get a new job get all the things i need to try to prepare myself to move to atlanta i'm not i don't think i'm prepared because i'm always at home i'm at home now i'm at home now i'm just trying to prepare myself so that when I know I'm gonna have like a little bit of a difficult time adjusting not being close that at least the my surroundings are in order if that makes sense so um where was i going with this oh so we actually went to apartment com complex kind of browsing around that time and we found a couple and nothing stuck out like it was like one we were really like we really really like we enjoyed the price because prices is crazy they is crazy for a one bedroom apartment why am i paying a mortgage the rent is not written the right way why are y'all charging people fifteen hundred dollars for closets you finish out at least they want to add 250 to the rent excuse me mr landlord i'm gonna need some more apartment add another piece of apartment to this apartment you can't live nowhere in america and make seven dollars and 25 cent but america's still paying people seven dollars and 25 cent what math are y'all doing um what i've learned throughout this whole couple of hours of researching look at the google reviews please look at the google reviews because we were sold on the apartment like i was telling you and the only thing that was kind of hindering us was like we had to pay for parking and i just feel like we stay there we shouldn't have to pay for parking but we looked at the reviews it was like immediate no like every review was bad like literally everyone and the ones that were not were like really really old or they just didn't really make a lot of sense or it's just no like if 
you just got a net like a one star review a week ago no and they got pictures and stuff like just no like mm -mm. it's okay oh that'll do it <laughs> You don't have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. <laughs> I don't even want to deal with no bad management. I can't stand bad management at work. So I will not do a bad management where I stay, where I lay my head. So, no. Um, I'm in Atlanta. <laughs> I am not good at this vlog. I don't know what's going on, but I just have not been recording. But it's day two here. And um, I think I'm just going to make this vlog a collective over about two weeks for real because that's just kind of how life going right now and a clip here clip there you just see when you see um i did want to hop on here and say we went on some apartment tours me and tj are getting an apartment i know i said that and we finally are narrowing it down getting the tours out the way because you kind of have to be on the lookout for these apartments two months in advance and we kind of just wanted to get the touring out the way so it's not like we looking on a on a and our floor plan is gone that we want or whatever all that good stuff so we went on apartment so we have one more tomorrow we went on five on monday two yesterday and we don't have any today he's working today and we have one tomorrow in the in the afternoon like i think it's actually at noon and um one thing I will say to give you like a pro tip, if you're moving out of state, um, especially to Atlanta, really look at the review or anywhere I, I would say, um, look at the reviews of the apartments on Google because these people do not lie. Like um, a lot of the reviews, I kind of go based off of the star rating. So, um, and I also read the actual reviews because some people just be like nitpicky, but like if your packages and the management don't like the service desk don't answer the phone, like if it's an emergency, why are you not answering the phone? <sighs> like why can't nobody get no email back? <clears throat> it don't take long. Literally Gmail is on your phone. If you wanted to, you would. So I just... I just don't want to deal with none of that. Um, what I've noticed, though, is if the star rating is above a 3.5, that's kind of where you want to look. Um, also, what we've noticed is that for the one bedrooms, that the floor plan that we want, really that you need to be looking over about 680, six, like 680 square feet and up because anything smaller than that, you're gonna be in a box like you don't want to be in a box so i just say stay clear of that especially if you're one of those people that has a lot of things like yeah it's cool you being by yourself but me and tj are both two people and we both have a lot of stuff so we know that being in a small apartment is not gonna work i really wanted a two bedroom at first but the way these parts is looking a two bedroom is not even feasible like that's not even an option but um really what i wanted to get on here and say is that uh give y'all a little bit of tips and kind of looking scheduling tours if you are moving if you're about to graduate uh, i know it's a lot of stuff going on um so just to kind of ease i'll give you my tips so wrote down all of the apartments that we had tours for um and the time slots that we had them for i always say give yourself time in between because you don't know how far each apartment is especially if you're if you're moving to a place like atlanta where stuff is normally 20 minutes away like that's that's just the normal here so um i booked our first one at 10 uh next one at 11 next one at 12 30 um just kind of give us some leeway because the tours are usually not that long but you never know what could be in a you know also give us a like a two hour window or hour window in between like 12 30 and i'll book the next one at two just in case we want to go eat um and usually the last tour that people show the time slot is usually like 4 30 or 4 because most um these offices close at either five or six so each tour you should ask for or they should give you a fee sheet and when it comes to the fee sheet um i know a big issue for me is the parking if i have to pay to live there to park it's just kind of like 
do I really do I really want to stay there on top of the other bills and fees that might come with it also if you're moving out of state or moving and need um to know how you get approved for an apartment and all of that usually you have to prove that you make three times the rent a good way to show that is if you have pay stubs make sure you're depositing or have like um your mom or anybody that you know is reliable to send you a little bit of money like a hundred dollars and you send it right back it'll still show on your bank statement that um you're getting a lot of deposits in your account even if you're not keeping that money if that makes sense um so me and tj will send each other like a hundred dollars back and forth I use me hundred dollars. I'll send it right back because it just shows. Okay, I'm I'm getting deposits into my account. If you do not have a regular job and you're an entrepreneur like CJ, it's really hard for you to get approved by yourself. So I would say make sure you're filing your taxes because most people are not taking bank statements no more. Or if they are, they want you to have bank statements all the way back to six months. Or if they want you to have, they need to have like a two-step verification for you guys. So I would say do your taxes and make sure you're not doing no funny business on your taxes, really. Because there some, like we went to one apartment complex and they were telling us that with his, he wouldn't even be able to use his bank statements. He would have to do like a tax transcript. And usually like barbers and hairstylists and entrepreneurs in general they have to kind of tweak their taxes so they don't owe a whole bunch of money because you can't really like they don't really know how much you're making basically so <clears throat> they um if you if it shows that you make ten thousand a year or twenty thousand a year they break that up like in an hourly rate so it really only makes it seem like you didn't make a lot of money that's the best way I could explain it and the way I heard it. So if you not don't have like sixty thousand in your account, which I know I don't, you might want to um, make sure you're showing like your bank statements are up to par. Um, if you are having a roommate or you are moving in with somebody, it is three times the rent both of y'all combined. So that's a little bit better. I would just say always schedule an in person tour and um, let them. Like ask the tour guide, do you have the floor plan that I can see that you want? <clears throat> a lot of times that they don't, but don't settle for a floor plan that you don't want because you're gonna be upset. So I would just say whenever, cause usually um, apartment complexes are pushed out uh, 60 days in advance. So right now I'm moving in August. They don't really show if what's available in August right now. But if I go back and look April, May, they're gonna show. So that's when we're gonna do our final selections of tours in about May or April, whichever is um, to get the best. And you can actually see what's going to be available in August. And if you sign, like if you sign your lease or like put down that you want that apartment, you still won't have to pay rent until those people move out. So that's something to take into consideration too um and yeah i'm about to go get my nails done and my toes done and we just gonna pick this vlog up when it's finished i've been kind of rambling this whole vlog i'm sorry if you don't like me talking and you just want to see what see but this is my life i just kind of spend life in the car to be honest or on the move so yeah hey y'all i got my nails done my girl did them. They so cute. Um, I'll put her name on the screen. But ah, I have had a... I don't even know the word. I guess just not really busy, but just like going different places like errands and stuff. Um, I went to Play-Dohs. I went to actually two Play-Dohs to kind of get rid of some clothes and then donated the rest of them to Goodwill. Um, my friend Ari is coming tomorrow. She's flying in. For the weekend and so i just got back home i also got my feet done but no y'all don't get to see that so right now i'm trying to get the house together so I'm about to fold these clothes here in the back and yeah pick back up tomorrow probably so yeah <laughs>
Um, hey y'all, so it is 2 a.m. I think almost, but I just wanted to go ahead and end this vlog so I can kind of move past this and it's been a long time coming. I'm only back in North Carolina, I'm back at home. Um, this week was very fun, very informative. Um, it's really putting my life into perspective, like a lot is gonna change in the next five months, so yeah, I have a lot to get ready for, um, a lot to prepare for. And moving out of state is a little bit scary, a little, it's a little. So, um, yeah, trying to find, make sure I have a job, making sure that my resume is up to par to even sustain a job. Um, so, yeah, that's where I'm kind of on my head is at. Um, I just wanted to like end this vlog and I'm sorry if it's all over the place. Um, I'm kind of all over the place right now. So this is just real life. Um, I also um, did narrow it down to three, um, our top three. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's exciting. I'm excited. Um, yeah, pretty much it. I'm laying in bed, you know. But um, I love you guys. And I thank you if you actually sit here and watching this. Like, it really means the world to me. Because it's really been hard to kind of like record when I'm not doing anything interesting. But I'm going to um, tag along this journey while I move to Atlanta and all the nooks and crannies. And I'll try to get up more videos about the whole process and everything. Please stick around. Um, and yeah, just bear with me. I'm really trying to be consistent in this. But it's really hard. So... But I love you guys. Thank you. And see you on the next one.